What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. I wanted to clear up a couple of things very quickly. Number one, I still have my Audi S3. And number two, I still have my Volkswagen TDI. Those cars were not sold at all. I don't know why people think that. This car was bought in addition to those. I don't plan on selling anything anytime soon, I don't think. So just so you guys are aware of that. And another thing, I'm using a new mic setup, so hopefully the audio is a little better. I have a wireless mic on me right now, so uh, I don't have to shout, being that the camera's farther away. So hopefully it picks up a little better audio. But what we're gonna be going over in today's video is how good is the Mark 7 GTI in its stock form as a daily driver? A lot of you guys have been DMing me saying that you want a GTI because it's more budget friendly. So we're gonna be going over that in today's video, which is why you see the car completely open because I'm gonna be showing you guys everything. So the first thing that we're gonna start out with guys is under the hood of the car, which is the engine. I'm gonna be going over just some quick things about the performance of this car. Now my car is pretty much 99% bone stock except for my CTS cold air intake and the CTS inlet pipe, which is right down there. Those are the only two mods that I have on the car. Everything else is completely stock, stock uh, hardware, everything, and stock software. The car is not tuned at all. So this is a 2.0T, uh, four-cylinder car, and it's from the MQB platform. The car makes between 210 and 220 horsepower and about 258 foot-pounds of torque. So by no means is this car completely just dead when it's stock. It's still fun to drive. It's still very... Um, peppy, it's quick, and you can still have a good time with the car being stock. Now, obviously, if you modify it and do many different things to it, the car's gonna be a lot faster, it's gonna be a lot more fun, it's gonna feel a lot better, but in stock form, these cars are really not that bad. I have had a good time driving this car stock. I have no complaints about it so far. So the Mark 7 GTI is a front wheel drive car, so don't forget that. Mine is a six speed manual, but you could also get it in a DSG automatic, which is very good. I love the DSG, it's the same transmission that I have in my Audi S3. So keep that in mind as well when it comes to the powertrain, that the GTI is front wheel drive, not awful in the snow, so don't be intimidated. Like if you get some good tires, some good all seasons, or even some winter tires, you won't have any issues whatsoever. I've never had any problems with a front wheel drive car in the snow in my life. I've had many of them, so there's that. And again, I have a six speed manual, but it's also available in a DSG automatic if you prefer to go that route. So we're gonna step into the interior. Now, please don't mind because it is a little bit messy because I have a lot of my camera equipment in here and I have a lot of like personal little things because I've been daily driving this car a lot. But number one, the interior is actually pretty nice in this car, even though it is the S base model, but you have the nice plaid interior, which I really like. It's obviously like a Volkswagen um, iconic design, but they're really nice. I really like the golf ball shift knob that the car comes with as well. It's actually uh, not too bad. I will be switching up that very soon though. I want to get something a little uh, better, a little heavier, but even in stock form, it does feel very good. Uh, the steering wheel has all the multifunction controls, so you have a lot of uh, nice uh, technology still, even though this is the base model car. Now, let me hop into the driver's seat. So, you still have a full touch screen. It is a little small. It's not as high tech as the other cars uh, that are, you know, like an SE GTI or a Golf R, an Audi, but it still does the job. You still get Apple CarPlay. So you still get all of that. You get the heated seats as well, which is nice because a lot of people don't like leather just because in the summer it gets extremely hot and in the winter it gets extremely cold. I do like leather, but honestly, I don't mind having the plaid seats just because I don't have to burn my butt off in the summer and I don't have to freeze it off in the winter and I can still get full heat control when it comes to the seat so that's really nice and we got the passenger seat as well you have your regular glove box where you can store whatever I have a couple of bulbs in there some uh, double-sided tape insurance stuff and uh, yeah guys so let me just put the key in as well so I won't be able to play any music because I don't want to get copy right but I have my phone connected for my Apple CarPlay so as you can see it's going to connect starting app connect connecting with Apple CarPlay I'm gonna put the volume down. And as you can see, even though this is the base model GTI, you still get the Apple CarPlay, which is awesome. Let me bring that up a little bit for you. So you could still, I have Rust playing, very nice. But again, you have all of that stuff going for you. So you do get all the nice technology. You get all the regular radio stations, the car setup stuff. You can go through a bunch of different things which you could play with when you get these cars but again the technology in this car for being a base model is actually pretty good so that's something to keep in mind if you do want to get a little cheaper GTI so hopping into the back seat I have my backpack with my camera equipment my bag for my tripod some work boots there some wipes just in case 
But one thing that I did love about this car is that the back seats look like nobody has ever even sat in them. They're in amazing condition. They look brand freaking new, which is awesome. But if we sit back here, it's honestly not bad. I mean, I am short. I'm like 5'7", so got to keep that in mind. But everything is pretty good. You get your own climate vents back here for AC and heat, which is really nice for your rear passengers. And there is a lot of room, honestly. This passenger seat is pushed back decently far. And again, I'm short. So, but even if you're probably like 5'11", 6 foot, you fit back here comfortably. We have your rear lights there, no sunroof in this car, but a taller passenger could easily fit in this back seat without any issue. One of the most important things of having a daily driver is comfort. And honestly, the GTI is pretty comfortable. There is a lot of room in here. The driver's seat, you have a lot of room around you. The passenger seat, the passenger gets a lot of room. And even in the back seat here, it's not bad at all. I would be able to sit here for a few hours comfortably with no problems whatsoever. A stretch here and there, obviously. But honestly, on a long road trip, this car really wouldn't do that bad. And even as a taller passenger, if you have taller friends or taller family members, they really wouldn't struggle in the back of this car. Obviously, if they're taller, you probably put them in the front. But if you have a couple of them, it really wouldn't be that bad of a time. So that's another thing to keep in mind about the GTI. So now we have the hatch, guys. Please don't mind me. I just have a lot of different things from my jack to a couple of tools, some shop rags, some gloves, my drill. I have a bunch of like different tools in here just in case, you know, I like to be uh, very cautious and safe just in case I need it for something, something breaks, I can try and fix it on the fly. But the hatch in this car is not huge. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It really is not huge. And let me brighten it up a little bit for you, but the hatch is not that big. Uh, you could definitely fit a good amount of things in here though. If you're gonna be traveling, you could put a good amount of duffel bags, probably a suitcase or two without an issue. But the main thing is, since this is a hatch, you're able to stack up high. So you could go from bottom to top, which is a lot of room there. So that's something to keep in mind as well, that it might look a bit small, but it's really not that bad. I had a lot more things in here before and I could still fit a bunch more. As you can see, like I said, I have a jack. I have some bags back there, some stuff right here, right there. So it's not too bad. There is room, especially if you put the back seats down. I'm gonna put them down so you guys can see how much more room you could have. So like this, you have a lot of room. And that's the good thing is if you don't have any rear passengers and you need to haul some things, you could definitely now fit a bunch of stuff. Like you could fit a bunch of wheels and tires if you need to. If you need to get some furniture stuff, you can remove this piece right here. It just unhooks from there and there. And you're able to take this out and then you have a clear cut shot going straight through the car. But as you can see guys, you have a lot more room when you put the back seats down. And if you need to haul a bunch of things, you won't have any issues. And that's honestly super important as well for a daily driver if you're gonna be doing a lot of things in that regard. And trust me guys, I know I'm very biased because I love Volkswagen, I love Audi, I love European cars, but I think the GTI is such an amazing looking car in my opinion. Like it looks good, it's very sporty, and mind you, again, this is the S. If you got the SE, you get the LED headlights. If you got a Mark 7 and a half GTI, you get the new front bumper. It looks a lot more modern. Like, I just think these cars have an awesome look to them. As you can see too, I don't know if you spotted it before in the video, but I pulled my roof back, my roof box, I'm sorry, from my wagon onto this car because I'm gonna be driving this a lot. My wagon is gonna be more of like a hauler now for like tools, if I need to work on cars, if I'm gonna help out some friends, I'm gonna be using the wagon for that kind of stuff. But the GTI is gonna really be like more of like a daily driver for me now so let me just walk around it i love the look i was able to get some oem roof racks for a good deal uh brand new so that's awesome but it just looks great let me close all this so you guys can check it out but i don't know i think the car looks really good in my opinion anyways that's going to conclude the video everyone thank you so much for watching honestly in my opinion I love these cars. As you know, I love Volkswagen. I love Audi. It's just my thing. I've always been into them. Uh, I can't say any more great things about this platform, especially the MQB platform is awesome. The car is very quick stock. It makes good power. It's fun to drive, especially if you get a manual, even if you get the DSG, it's an awesome transmission, especially if you decide to tune it and start doing stuff. But honestly, I think for now, just for the time being i'm going to keep this as stock as possible just to enjoy how it is so when i make the jump to start doing stuff then i'm going to like really feel that like enjoyment of like wow this car is so much more fun to drive it feels so much better i love it you know what i mean so that's basically how i'm going to be approaching this car and honestly everything else as a daily aspect from the interior to the hatch 
to the space. The car is just a good sound daily. It is amazing. I love it so far. I can't wait to start modifying it, but I'm gonna enjoy it in a stock form. So if you were to ask me, uh, should you buy a GTI as your first car or should you buy a GTI as a daily driver? If you're looking for something along this spectrum, I definitely say go for it. You could get them for a good deal right now. It's not too bad. And honestly, I got this for an awesome deal, under 65,000 miles. So that's basically everything you get when you get a GTI. Thank you so much for watching. Comment and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.